Hey Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what the next 24 to 48 hours hold for you. It's going to be a general reading guys so please keep that in mind. If you're out there personal one feel free to reach and inquire. My email is going to be listed below the video. So Five of Cups energy here, heavy energy of emotional disappointment. Someone is feeling really upset. Someone is being really hard on themselves. Someone here is feeling a lot of remorse, a lot of regret. Okay. Could be someone that is, if this isn't you, um, guys, if it's not you here, if it's not you, you know, feeling really upset over something that's happened, feeling um, really upset over a disconnection here. If you've disconnected, um, with, if there's been some sort of separation or a discord or... A disconnection between you and a romantic energy or even between you and a like a close connecting energy um, you know you might be feeling this weight of sadness this weight of disappointment something he has happened but not the way that you've planned it or if it's not you then it very well is a connecting energy who I think has hurt you okay who I think has hurt you or who has said things that have hurt you and uh, who might have even screwed this up to be honest with you and I think this person is really um, really focused on that okay um, if this hasn't happened yet then this might potentially happen in the next 24 to 48 hours um, you just might be it could also be like a wave of nostalgia though you know you just might be really nostalgic about something that didn't work out especially recently okay for you and you might be really upset about it you might just be really dwelling on it um, you know thinking about why it didn't work out or what was said or why they said what they said you know just really it's just this stuck in the past kind of energy okay and maybe you're finding it very hard to move on from someone or something maybe someone is finding it really hard to move on from you and because they're so closely connected to you they're showing up in your reading here um, but you know the two of cups that stand behind this cloaked figure indicates all is not lost so there's something here that and you've got evidence of this show up in your life but you're not really seeing it okay because it's kind of notice how he's got his back turned to those two of we're going to presume that um presume those cups are full um so yeah strong symbolic indication of something being not all lost so i don't you know if you have disconnected with this person it's likely that this may not be the end okay it's likely that yeah it could be a temporary break you might just have another chance, another crack at this. So it's like it's over, but it's not really over, if that makes sense. I think it does. Um, so all is not lost. Then you've got someone here whom I see is trying to reach you, or maybe you're trying to reach them. I see some very important digital communication. So a text message, a phone call, an email, um, a, co a comment on your, on a, you know, on social media here. There is either someone trying to reach you um, and it's going to be via digital communication or maybe you this is you you're trying to reach someone via digital communication um, but this this energy is one that's very sincere it's very authentic it's very you know they're speaking a truth so if they tell you they like you they like you if they tell you they want to take you out believe them um, whoever it is here and whatever it is that they say it doesn't have to be romantic okay because for some of you yeah it is a romantic energy someone here is crushing on you it could be someone that you're see there's a connection there between you and this person but it is happening online so it, it could be on a um, dating site you potentially could um, if you're active on a dating site online you potentially could be meeting with someone online okay on a dating site you could you could be uh, matching with someone and this is someone sincere this is someone who and I think you can tell it in the in their energies you can tell it um, you, you, just, you can feel it you, you can feel in the way that they talk to you in the way that they you know um, carry the conversation and whatnot um, or it could be someone that you might already be connected to you might be somehow already connected to, to this person but communication is coming in online it's happening online via digital communication um, could be it could very well be someone who it could very well be this person that you've um, disconnected with, okay? So if someone has ghosted you, or if someone has pulled away abruptly, or if someone has ended a relationship or a connection here, it could be this person's energy reaching out to you. And for some of you, I feel like maybe you've been anticipating or expecting that communication. So someone is coming in, but it feels like it's with a sincere energy. It feels like maybe this person is trying to, you know, set the record straight. Maybe this person is trying to apologize or is just trying to lay 
it's like they're coming in with some sort of truth because the king of swords he tells no lies he speaks the truth okay him and his queen are very truthful they're very transparent they're very honest um they don't like to sugarcoat things they like to tell it like it is and yeah sometimes that can be a little bit blunt okay and it might not always be well received but just understand that they never lie okay king of swords queen of swords whenever they show up there's truth that's being spoken so someone he might you know they're reaching out and they're communicating with you but i feel like the difference here is because they're communicating with the intention so it's not like hey how you going and you know conversation just fizzles out and doesn't really get anywhere it's like this person wants to get to know you this person wants to take you out this person wants to apologize they want to tell you the truth they want to tell you why ha what happened why it happened you know what i mean they're communicating with the intention and the intention is to move things forward in a positive direction in a positive light okay um uh, for a lot of you there's also needs, there needs to be a focus on healing something so if you're still and i think it's got to do with this past okay there may be some past emotional wounds or past pain or past hurt that needs to be healed how do you heal it well that's another story but um to help with this you, you kind of need to feel it first okay you need to feel it to heal it so you need to feel your pain in your mind in your body in your spiritual self you got to feel the pain so you can flush it out of your system. And there's something here in the energies that tells me that this pain is what's holding you back. Now, you know what this is. If someone has said something to hurt you, they might have triggered you. And it might have just brought back all this old pain and all of these old memories and whatnot. Um, someone here might be projecting their pain and their insecurities onto you. But, you know, it's triggered you or it's hurt you. Um, for some of you, maybe you've been... Rip, um, you've been kind of you've been in the same relationship but with different people you've been you know picking out partners that you know haven't been kind to you and haven't you know loved you or treated you the way that you deserve to uh, be treated and you need to look into that you know why is it that you're seeking out or why is it that you're drawing those kind of energies to you okay so um, some of you maybe you grew accustomed to pain and some of you you know because the Eight of Swords, there's some sort of thinking behind it that is warped. So some of you could think, you know, relationships are meant to be difficult. They're meant to be heartbreaking. They're meant to be, you know, exhausting and whatnot. Okay, so it's it's your mindset that's kind of attracting this energy, if you know what I mean. So yeah, there's something here that needs healing. There's something here that needs... And look, when, when I say healing, it could be healing an emotional wound. It could be, you know, forgiving, accepting, letting go, releasing. It could be you know moving on you could you need to do some cleansing some purging whatever whatever you know it is that you need to do you know i feel like for some of you you could be connecting with someone famous online um especially the two of wands and the star card i feel like for some of you yeah you're connecting with someone famous so either they're someone um who is famous online okay or someone who's a bit of a celebrity or someone who has you know who rubs shoulders with celebrities but i feel like this person or someone who's like really famous but well known in your country or your part of town if you know what i mean um or someone who's like really famous on instagram or tiktok famous that kind of energy but you're connecting with someone who i think is very well known or is very like celebrity like um and that's for some of you okay for others of you if that's not the case then i think this is someone very special i think it's someone very unique and i'm seeing something very um just something very different about this person okay um it, they might have a very unique name they may have a very unique like a scar or a tattoo or a very unique um sense of uh dress like clothing style or even like a unique haircut or even like the way they talk or the way they talk, the walk is just something is very unique to them. Okay. And it, it, this is something that's really going to stand out for you. And they, they may not be your usual type guys, but trust me, you will not be able to sort of look past this person. Um, if you can try and avoid any drama, try and avoid, um, try not to get caught up in any drama. Um, I think there may be some energies around you who feeling a little bored and they want to stir things up so they might start spreading rumors or you know it's just there's something here that feels a little intense it's 
you know, there could be some drama coming your way. You might not be the result of it, but somehow you might get swept up in it. And if you can, try and avoid it. Otherwise, don't feed into it. Honestly, whoever this person is, I feel like either they're jealous and or they're just bored and trying to cause some drama. So if you can, stay away from anyone that you know is just drama. You know those kind of people in life? Yep, they're just drama to just stay away. You know what I'm talking about? Um, for others, if you see drama, you know, um, boiling, just try not to, yeah, try not to feed into that energy. Or if you know, you know, a situation between you and a certain person is going to escalate, like, don't go there. If you can avoid it. If you can't avoid it, then heads up, I guess. Alright guys, these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel. Please guys hit that um, subscribe button. It does help. And by liking, sharing or commenting. Thank you.